This video is made at the request of Zeus Richardson, right here. He said, hey, teach us how to make some smooth swing fonts, or how to install them. So I've created this folder, which I've called Teensy Fonts, which is now empty. But it's not going to be for long. So the first thing we want to do is, let's go find a font that we want to put on our Teensy. And let's say, the first one, let's say... I want to go Vader R1 by Lord Blaco. So there is the font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all these files because that all those files comprise the font, which I probably shouldn't have copied those swings, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a new folder and we're going to call this one Vader, lowercase letters. And now I'm going to open that folder and I'm going to right click paste. And here comes uh, Lord Blaco's uh, Proctor version of Vader R1. So there we go. Now, the smooth swing doesn't use these spins and it, you know, or stabs and all these swings. So I just highlight all them and delete them. I don't think you need to delete them, but I delete them. So pretty much you can see we just have some clashes, blaster blocks, the hum, saber on, saber off, some force waves, lock up, and power off. I mean that's all we're left with. So then what I'm going to do is I have made some Vader smooth swim pairs, which I am still working on them so they're not exactly uh, you know, all together there. Vader smooth swim pairs. Y'all probably saw them before I did. Now here's the key thing about these smooth swing pairs. To make sure that the Teensy Saber V3 recognizes that hey this is a smooth swing font you've got to have this file in there. See the file that's highlighted it says smooth SW any that's your smooth swing any file and you can open this with you know any viewer and, and there's what it looks like. So this is telling Teensy Saber hey use Teensy or smooth swing version 2 Here's your sensitivity, uh, hum ducking, sharpness, uh, str the threshold, the transition degrees, transition two degrees, and swing volume is three times normal. So these are all the settings for smooth swing. But the bottom line is, you know, just once you have a smooth swing uh, any, you need to make sure that that goes into your folder. So I'm going to copy the smooth swing any and then all of these pairs. I guess I need to talk about the pairs. So <clears throat> most most of these smooth swing fonts, instead of having swing sounds, you have swing H, swing high, and you should have eight of those, which you see that I have eight swing H, and then you have eight swing L's. So you've got eight pairs, uh, eight swing H's and eight swing L's, and our smooth swing any file. And I'm going to highlight all those, copy, and then I'm going to paste those into my Vader folder. There we go. So now they're all going to my Vader font. So now my Lord Blaco uh, Vader R1 has my smooth swing pairs in it and the smooth swing any, so it is now a smooth swing font. It's that easy. Now, <clears throat> let's do another one. So again, I'm going to go to my lightsaber stuff. Let's say I want this one to be an NEC font. Uh, let's see, what are we going to use? Let's go Graphlex 4. And uh, let's not do that because those are, I'd have to unpack them from all those folders and I don't want to do that. So let's just, let's go grab, let's say, uh, Graphlex 4. Or here, plectors are easy. If you use an NEC font, you just have to make sure that you take all the files out of the folders, which you can do that, but I'm not going to do it for the video here. So, and you know what? I'm not going to copy the swing files on this one. So, first off, let's go ahead and make a new folder for this Graphlex font. We're going to call this Graphlex. And 
I don't want to highlight the swing waves this time. So I'm just going to highlight the stuff we need. Uh, we don't need stabs or spins. No. Copy. And then we're going to open our graphics folder. And we're going to paste it in there. <coughs> so that's, you know, our power on, power off hum. You know, force effects. Your clashes, combos, which TNT doesn't use the combos, and then you have your blaster box. So now we don't have any swings. So what are we going to do? Well, I happen to have some Graflex smooth swing pairs that I made, and there's eight of them. And now I don't have a smooth swing any file, but I have eight pairs of Graflex. Uh, smooth swing files, which I'm going to copy them, and I'm going to paste. Th Oops, getting ahead of myself here. All right, now I'm back in my folder where I want them, and I'm going to paste them in here, and then boom. Now my graphics folder has all those smooth swings in it, but I don't have a smooth swing any file. And you're like, well, where do I get, <coughs> where do I get the smooth swing any files from? Well, if you download Frederick's uh, standard font package, uh, let's see here, Factory Teens Teensy, uh, oh there it is, Poppy OSSD card. So you can download all these files on Frederick's website. Let's go to Frederick's website right now and show you that that is true. So here we go. Frederick's, oh, it's up top. So let's go to Frederick's website. I'll show you where you can download this app. So there you have, uh, let's see. I think it's on the software page. So we need to go to the software page. And then, let's see here. Yep, on the very top of the software page, you can see, you know, you need an SD card with some sound fonts and or tracks. And if you click on this, uh, there you can see the name of that file if you download it as Profi OS SD card zip, which I'm not going to download it because I already have it. And this is it. So when you download this file, you get the Coffee OSSD card zip, which is right there, and when I extracted all the files, this is what it contains. Rogue Commander, Smooth Fuzz, Smooth Gray, Smooth Jedi, Team ZSF, Trax, and Truth Crystal, which these are all smooth swing fonts. Well, here's the cool thing about all these factory smooth swing fonts is guess what they all have in them? They have that smooth swing any file that we need. So now I'm going to look for it. Oh, there it is, right there. There's a smooth swing any. All you have to do is copy one of those, and then we're going to paste it in this Graflex folder. So now we got our Smooth Swing Any, and then we have eight Smooth Swing pairs in our Graflex 4 font. So the key thing is, is you can make any font into a Smooth Swing font. The problem is, is you have to have Smooth Swing pairs. And I'm not going to do a video about how to make the Smooth Swing pairs. It's basically looped hum sounds, and they're all different, and nobody's perfected it yet, except for maybe K-Sith. Uh, K Sith has some awesome smooth swing fonts. If you don't have his smooth swing fonts, you need to buy them from him. So either message him on TRA or Facebook. Keenan smooth swing fonts, K Sith smooth swing fonts are the bomb. They're the best things you got going. Uh, and once you get his smooth swing fonts, you also have those pairs, which you know you could use elsewhere. Uh, but I try to make my own that are customized for each one. So while we're here, if you found my teensy saber video is helpful uh, you know give my facebook page a like www.facebook.com forward slash meg tooth sith meg tooth sith and that's my facebook page and uh, you know give it a like as well as my youtube channel but if you go to www.youtube.com forward slash meg tooth sith sabers that's going to be uh, my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. If these videos are helping anyone out, I'd appreciate it. The more I get the word out, the better life is. We've talked about how to add the smooth swing pairs to an existing font. 
Well then, what about, how do I just add a smooth swing font? So I'm going to go into Cases Smooth Swing Bundle. There I've extracted the balance in my folder. And, you know, here's Cases Balance Font. And of course it's already got the smooth swing pairs. Now initially the bad thing about Cases Fonts is he did not have a uh, smooth swing any file so you got to make sure you go grab one so let's say I'm gonna do a new folder here balance Oops, this is gonna be case this stuff I'm gonna open that folder I'm gonna paste case this the balance font in that folder <coughs> and we're golden except we need a smooth swing any so now I'm going to go to Smooth Swing Fonts, Prof ESD, and I'm going to Road Commander here and we'll grab the Smooth Swing thing out of there. It's basically a configuration file that's on your SD card in each font folder. That's all the Smooth Swing any is. But if you don't have your Smooth Swing any in there, the Smooth Swing will not work right as you know various Facebook users have found out. Road Commander Smooth Swing Any Copy. Okay, it's there we go. So now we have a smooth swing any in uh case test the balance. Alright, so the last step, I mean if you've watched my authoring the SD card for your Teensy Saber then you should already understand how to do this, but it bears repeating again. So we've made a package for our SD card that contains three smooth swing fonts. We have Balance, Graflex, and Vader. And we also have a tracks folder with music tracks in it. Now we have to make sure that our presets match what our folder names are. So let's say for the first uh, preset, we're gonna use Vader. For the second preset, we're going to use Graflex. For the third preset, we're going to use Vader. That's something I didn't say in my in my initial video. You don't have to select because let's say you have, you know, you named them, uh, you know, Bank One, Two, and Three, or Font One, Two, and Three. We don't have to use them in the order that you have them numbered. I mean, you can use Font One as as your, you know, font for your. 10th uh, preset or you can use font 6 or bank 6 for all of your presets it doesn't matter I mean that's the cool thing about Teensy Saber is you're not handcuffed you can you can use them more than once so it's pretty awesome but the key thing is to make sure that your configuration file and your presets use the same folder names here as you have on your SD card once you do all that your preset one is going to run your new Vader smooth swing file. That's it's that simple. So then you know you just put an SD card in your computer, and I'm going to put a uh, SD card in here right now, but I'm not going to write to it because it's my it's my GoPro SD card, and I'm too lazy to get up and find another one. All right, so now I've got an SD card on my on my hard drive, so it should recognize it. So I'm and by the way, you got to save your a uh, new config file which I'm not going to do because that is actually one of my uh, one of my working config files. So I'm back in my folder that we've made during this video. Balance, Graflex, Tracks, and Vader. I'm going to highlight all them and I'm going to right click, send to, and then GoPro H is actually my SD card that the computer currently recognizes. Of course if you have, you know, your <clears throat> lightsaber SD card in there, it's going to send these files onto there. And then you're golden. That's it. It's that easy. Uh, you know, just make sure that each smooth swing font that you have has that uh, smooth swing any in it. And as long as this smooth swing any file is in the folder, then that file is what tells Teensy Saber, hey, this is a smooth swing font, turn on smooth swing. And it doesn't matter, again, Plector, NEC, homemade fonts, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you have a smooth swing any in there, it's going to turn on the smooth swing a logarithm, smooth swing version two, that was created by Thexter and Frederick 
uh, for the Teensy Saver V3 and the upcoming Profi, it's going to turn on the smooth swing uh, engine. That's the most important thing to have in there. And then, of course, you need your eight smooth swing pairs in each of your font folders. Once you've done that, it doesn't matter if it's Plector or any C font. Teensy is going to read the file name and know what it is and know how to run it. Uh, and then, then it's also going to read the fact that it's... Uh, you know, a uh, smooth swing font because it sees your smooth swing any, and then it's going to turn on the logarithm and boom, bada bing, bada boom, you got magic in your lightsaber. So it's just that easy. I hope everyone understands all that, and that will conclude this video. May the force be with you all.